Hey everyone, I'm Kane, and this is Ace, and welcome to another video. We're going to be playing the Grimoire's Descended Dungeon. It's going to be a mythical difficulty and 50 stamina, 7 dungeons. And the reason we're going to be playing this dungeon is so we can get the sorceresses at the very end. So there's going to be a, a red, a blue, and a green one. And uh, we're going to have Ace show the team he's going to use to beat this dungeon. Alright, so here's the team that I'm going to be using. It is actually my Shiva team. And uh, the interesting thing to know actually is in this dungeon, the red sorceress uh, does help to alt this Shiva. So mm -hmm. um, definitely a good dungeon to um, beat if you need to alt your Shiva. So I have um, leader and friend of Shiva here. Uh, as you may know, um, that will give three times uh, each for any combo of six or more and they have a baseline 1.5 times attack for fire. Um, so when I make a six combo there, uh, the combined damage should be somewhere over 20 times. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, then secondly, I'll be having my Cow Cow. Um, has a couple of two prongs, um, also changes water orbs to fire orbs and delays um, your enemy by one turn. Um, so that can be very helpful. Uh, I have an Awoken Hino Katsuguchi here, uh, three two prongs, um, and also changes water orbs to fire orbs. Um, additionally, it changes um, heal orbs to dark orbs, uh, and also will uh, greatly reduce your enemy's defense um, for one turn, so that can be pretty helpful as well. Um, Freyr, the Awoken um, version here, um, has a really great uh, active skill for fire teams. Um, it is two times attack for fire and water um, attributes for two turns, um, so not just for one turn but for two turns, and also will um, uh, charge your skills by one turn for all your monsters. Um, so you'll probably, one pro tip of that is use that after you've activated your skills. <laughs> Um, because if your skills are already active, they obviously don't need to be charged, yeah. so um, one thing to be aware of there. Uh, and then um, my last uh, sub-monster here will be my Valkyrie. Um, does have a two two prongs um, and changes the heal orbs to fire orbs uh, at max skill. It will do that in five turns, um, so uh, can activate quite quickly, which is very nice. We'll go ahead and enter the dungeon. Alright. Here and we go. What are we <clears throat> facing first here? First guys are devil, little devil guys, and so they're not too uh, difficult to beat. You definitely want to kill them off uh, the first turn because they do about 5,000 damage, so if three of them hit you, that's 15, and so that would leave a mark. Um, but they only have 30,000 HP, so A should be able to wait some standing. And so we'll be off to the next dungeon. Or not the next dungeon, but the next battle. And so there's a Minotaur, a uh, Cockatree, and a Cyclops. And so if you notice right there, um, Minotaur does a preemptive attack of 2,000 damage. Cockatree uh, changes two random colors into jammers, which can be a little bit uh, troublesome because you can not have the right colors you need. But one thing to think about is that Minotaur does do. 16,000 damage uh, when it's lower than 40% HP and also combine one monster for 10 turns when its HP is less than 10% so you kind of want to possibly kill that first um, or the Cockatree which does uh, 10,000 damage every turn or every two turns and will bind two monsters for four turns when its HP is less than 30% <clears throat> but um, the Minotaur has about 530,000 HP, Cogatry has 300,000, and the Cyclops is not too bad, but it does um, cut your HP by 75% if its HP is about 50%. If it's below, it'll do nothing for its first turn, and then it'll do 30,000 the next turn after that. So you definitely do, do want to kill it in two turns. Off to the next one, we're uh, gonna be fighting the spirits, but um, looks like Ace got the red one. So the spirits have almost uh, two million HP. Uh, the good thing about it is that they will recover your HP to max as a preemptive. Um, the first turn, or when it's above 50% HP, it will do 6,000 damage, but it's not too bad. But once it gets below 50%, 
it will do a magical book, which does like no damage at all. But um, the next turn after that will do a quite a bit of damage. And so the fire one does 15,000 damage its next turn. So Ace will be able to survive a hit, but um, the guy yeah. the minor attack should hopefully be able to kill this. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. All right. There you go. Survived it. Unfortunately, he didn't get the drop. So those um, spirits do actually allow you to skill up the the hero uh, descended monsters, and so that could be pretty good if you can get lucky and skill them up. But next is the demons, and so these guys are actually pretty uh, strong. So they do have 800,000, a little bit more than 800,000 uh, life, and they do about 10,000 damage. But once their HP is less than 35%, they will do 17,000, so you kind of have to watch out. And also, they will bind the opposite uh, color they are, so if you're fighting against uh, fire, they will bind your water attribute monsters for two to four turns on the next turn. And if you have the water one, or then they will bind the wood ones, and then if you fight the wood one, which we don't have here, but <clears throat> that will find the fire attribute, so it's kind of nice that um, Ace does not have to fight the, the wood one, but it, it is definitely easier to kill because it's weak against fire. But um, with that two prong and those combos, it should be able to kill them off. And yeah, definitely. I was nervous, but uh, <laughs> went all out and killed him. Yeah. So uh, floor five is actually kind of hard if you do not have a skill block. Um, because it will skill bind your all your monsters for ten turns if you don't have um, how much damage is it going to do? Um, so its first turn, when it's above thirty percent, it'll do seven thousand damage and it'll change one orb to water. Okay. And then the next attack after that will be doing thirteen thousand and it changes water to heal. So it's nice to know that. Am I in danger of dying to any one thing specifically? Um, yes. If you do hit it down less than 30%, it will kill you in one hit because it does 23,000 damage. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Kind of nervous here <laughs> yeah. because... Because uh, it has a 1, 000, uh, 1 million HP, so Ace will have to do 2 million to kill damage it. to kill it. Huh. And if you do less, a little less than that, then... Uh, then I will be in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> but you can take a hit, so... That should... Uh-oh. That's a lot of combo with that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see! And... Oh, oh good. Did got enough damage yep. to kill it, so those extra combos helped out. Got a little lucky there. Yeah. Yeah. So this next one is Michael, and... Preemptive is it will um, prevent all status effects for four turns. And it will... Next turn, it will bind your leader for four turns. So that could be quite... Uh, Bad if Ace does not kill this kill this guy this this turn because um, Shiva does not have any skill uh, blocks. I mean, uh, bind blocks. Um, but after that, it does about three thousand damage, six thousand, and then twelve thousand. And think then I'm after that, I'm going to use a skill here. Yeah. I can use my Yomi Wave to Just get to make sure you get it killed. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to die to this. Yeah, so uh, Michael has 43 HP, but it does have 600,000 defense. So if you do have a fire team, it makes it a lot easier because you only have to do a little bit more than uh, 300,000 damage. So um, if Ace gets a, a two prong and a six combo, that would definitely kill Michael. But um, looks like you'll get a couple more combos and two two combos of red as well. I'm hoping that should be that enough damage, definitely and I got a couple of nice drops yep. there, so... <clears throat> yeah. 10 combo, and that is definitely dead. But you here. will definitely have to kill Michael in 5 turns, or it will do... It will kill you. Okay. And then the last one is... Um, the Sorceress, and... I got the Grass one yeah, here. Unfortunately, I got the Grass one, so you can't use that one to... <laughs> to ult any other Shivas yeah. that I might have. Yeah. Right. But uh, has 4 million HP, it does um, half the damage for light and dark attributes. Um, the preemptive, it uh, prevents all status effects for pretty much the whole battle, because the 999 turns is pretty much forever. 
Um, the next turn after that, it will um, increase the chance of wood, wood orbs to appear by 25% for 99 turns. So that will be, well, I guess worse for a fire team, but good for a wood team. But um, above 30% HP, it does about 5,000 damage and binds one mon random monster for one to two turns, which is not too bad. But uh, once it gets lower than 30% HP, it will do uh, quite a bit of damage of 22,000, so you definitely want to kill it before then, which is yes. what Ace did, and Ooh. got the drop because it's 100%. So, all right. That went quite smoothly. Thank you for the Win. guidance there, and as you can see, we did get uh, the uh, first uh, level of this uh, yeah. grass sorceress there, so Armadel. That so we will see if maybe um, the awoken or the uh, evolved version will be used to alt something here in the future, maybe. Yep. Um, and uh, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that. And uh, again, uh, if you'd like to see one of our past descended dungeons, we'll post a link yep. to that here. Over there. Uh, outside of that, we hope we see you guys next time. Yep. Make sure to comment below. Tell us what, our, what else kind of dungeons and uh, you want us to beat and. Uh, yeah. Just comment and tell and us how you like this video. Sweet. See you guys next time. Yep. See ya. Peace.